<laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the battle. Come on now. <laughs> Where we're making aquariums Ooh, aggressive again. <laughs> I don't know that they were ever aggressive to begin with. Yeah. But, no, it's yeah. a whole new trend. <laughs> yes. A whole new thing. <laughs> new yeah. trend. The cube battle continues round two. Whee! Fight! <laughs> we are ready. So today, wow, jam-packed show once yes, again. It's a fun week for the battle. Yeah. So Things are coming along nicely. They're coming along really, really nice. So today we're going to talk, well, if you didn't see it already, we had some confessional time. Right? Yes, In yes, the, yes. In the supply closet, um, we kind of yeah, we, we, we let little, it all out, right? Yeah, got, so, got kind of got weird. Uh, it got always weird. gets weird at <laughs> Waterbox. Gets a little sketchy. So if, we should probably show. Yeah, I'm gonna preface mine real quick. Have you ever seen me, myself, and Irene, uh, the movie with Jim Carrey? <laughs> okay. Yes. Just think of that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, also, you're not wearing your sunglasses. We gotta get. No, you're gonna no, get it's, sunglasses. Okay. Yeah. it's okay. It's okay. They'll they'll get the full gist. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so we're yeah. also we're, so we're gonna show you the confessional, and then we're gonna move into our fish selection because the fish have come yep, in. Yep. This is our first edition of fish. Mm -hmm. So that is our week yep. two. Um, excited to show what we picked up. Yeah. So check this out, guys. True confessionals. <laughs> You know, they wanted me to do this aquarium competition. Wasn't too sure about it. Sometimes I don't even know what we're doing around here. But there's one thing I can tell you is my tank's gonna win. You know, I try not to get too aggressive with these things, but if you don't vote for me, we're gonna have some problems. I don't even know what I'm doing in this dark room right now, but I'm gonna win. <clears throat> so this is the confessional. Um, week two here, this cube battle. And I gotta be honest with you, uh, I truly think I'm gonna win my creativity is really out there. My mind just really just goes places that it's not normal. Back in like 1983, I, uh, man, I'm getting a little nervous. I've never talked about this before, but I, uh, I had a dream. Well, I don't know if it was a dream or not, but pretty much an alien encounter. And uh, I was taken to another dimension. And it was a tremendous energy, like in this, this, this dream, and it was just, it was really life changing. I've never told anybody, but I drink the aminos uh, for the energy because it, it, it's as close as I can to the feeling I had that evening uh, back in 83. So, my tank that I'm, I'm, I'm doing here is really out of this world. And, uh, yeah, I'm done. I, I can't talk anymore. Whew. All right. It's confessional time. Um, hopefully I'm alone here. Um, it's getting really kind of weird around here. Um, they've, I think they've both lost their minds. Dean has kind of just been really like looking behind his back. He's like acting really weird, asking about paranormal stuff. I don't know what's going on with him. He's lost his mind. And Rich is, I don't, he's kind of aggressive, man. I'm a little bit scared. Um, carrying around a knife and stuff. So I don't know what's up with these guys. Um, all I know is I am taking care of my tank and with, uh, them kind of just going off the rails. It should be a pretty easy win on this battle. I don't even know if they've really uh, done anything to their tank. And um, I'm gonna do some like non-photosynthetic type of corals in mine on the black rock, black sand. And I'm pretty sure they've both all lost their minds and aren't even in this competition. So um, 
gonna have to keep an eye on my keep watch my background here because uh, things are getting a little weird. Oh my. I'm not sure what to think of that. <laughs> oh, come on now. That's, that's Things cool. got a little that? weird for y'all in that closet, so yeah. I don't know. It, it's, it's like I said, me, myself, and Irene, right? Yeah. If you've ever seen that movie. <laughs> I mean, the 20 Q battle continues, everybody. I mean, this is some serious, serious business here. Yeah. I'm We're so, not taking this competition yeah. lightly, Dean. <laughs> I'm sitting over yeah. here just. There's weapons, there's abductions, and I mean, then there's just that's. Obviously. Somehow still yeah. <laughs> stick around this, I don't know. <laughs> but you know, I don't know, I thought, you know, they told me originally the confessional was supposed to be private, you know, they weren't going to say, you know. Yeah, I didn't, now realize, I didn't realize that was going to get aired. Everybody. Oh my god. So, <laughs> All right. Rick, let's talk about your fish selection for your cube battle and what your theme is, because we each have a theme. We're going to release the theme today and tell you kind of where we're going with it. Yep. So Rich is up first. Okay. So. You know, again, if, if you guys watched the episode one, I, I kind of, I really like like a natural kind of reef tank. So mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. really have a theme per se. It really is just kind of like a natural reef setting. Okay. Right? In a 20 gallon. So um, the fish that I chose are here on the screen, Royal Grama and Green Chromies and a Blood Shrimp. Relatively easy fish to mm. keep. Um, I like the Chromies because they school. Mm. You know, it's very common, easy to get, not real expensive. Mm. So you're going for the low maintenance. Yeah, Ease you know, your typical 20-gallon hmm. uh, inhabitants. Interesting so interesting, interesting choices there. Yes. So we actually picked up the fish yesterday, got them back here and acclimated, and we took some pictures of them while they are acclimating. So these yep. are the actual fish in the tank, yep. just in case we can't find them when we're, you know, kind of looking is, at the tank. That is the actual fish right there. That is the royal grama. Yeah, so okay. I like this fish a lot. They're pretty easy to keep. Um, great color. Um, they come from the Caribbean, specifically. Yeah. And... Uh, just really easy. Yep. Next one's the green chromies. I love these little guys because they're mm -hmm. easy and they school. Mm. That's what's great about them. Okay. They school. Definitely so going with the simple theme. Again, okay. easy, mm -hmm. easy to find, not real expensive, great yeah. for that size tank. Okay. And then and the blood shrimp. The blood shrimp. They just nice pop cool. of color. Yeah. Yeah. Adds color to the tank. You can clean up in the, in the aquarium and all that stuff. Yep. So. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Well. So I those are my three pretty, choices for week choices. one. Pretty good choices, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a very safe choice. And there you have there very you safe. Are. There you have them live in my tank. And you can see, hanging out. You okay. can pretty much see everyone in there. We have a little bit of fish food if you want to feed them for them to come out. But um, okay. you can see Chromis, Grama down at the bottom. Yeah, looks good. Yeah. Looks real good. Okay, yeah. Good. So that's All my right. tank again. Easy. Hmm. Achievable reef setup in our 20 gallon cube. Anything yes. in particular like maintenance or general upkeep doing for the week? I'm keeping it pretty simple, mostly mm -hmm. just topping it off, making sure the. Uh, I haven't even cleaned the glass yet, though. So. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> I've been running all the right. lights. <laughs> so there just hasn't Listen, been any need because I'm not running good. the lights. It's all good. Okay, all right, so we got right. a lot of people also on YouTube and Facebook watching the stream, a lot of people commenting. You know, Paulie says, so a threat, alien invasions, and someone worried about her back, LOL. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, this is a up, competition, yeah. man. Competition. <laughs> Evan says his money's on Jess, so. Well, thank you, Evan. All right, well, so now we're gonna move to my selection and my theme. Yeah. Okay, so you all know what happened back in 83. <laughs> uh, we do now. Well, we you do know now. now. It's yeah. been a secret up until this point. Yeah, I, <laughs> So, <laughs> you don't. You never know what happens yeah. when you put Dean in a dark room. Listen, so the choices I picked <laughs> are a fuzzy dwarf lionfish and a baby red anglerfish. Oh. Love it. Mm. Probably, now, yep. these fish remind me of something that's out of this world. You yeah, know what I mean? These yeah. kind of look like aliens a little bit. You mm -hmm. know. So let's go. Here's the actual picture of the fuzzy dwarf that we picked up. It's not going to get real big. It's going to stay small. Mm -hmm. It is venomous. Yep. It looks very uh, out of this world. Very yeah, yeah. Very much alien-ish, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. And then my next one I picked, <laughs> bam. Come I, on now. I love that thing. Yes. Baby red. Now, when you see this in this, it's very hard to see him, but he's literally only like half an inch or one, like maybe yeah, one inch. Yeah, he's tiny, which very is tiny. good though, because he has a really big mouth and could eat anything else you put in the tank, so he's yeah. small. But that's an awesome good. fish, dude. It looks like yeah, Something they, they kind of like walk around the tank. Yeah, creepy. It's so they do, and they can actually normal. yeah. They have little feet. Oh, and they can look. Whoa. snap! Oh my goodness! What? Oh, man. Look at that! Oh, 
I see a, a, a lionfish move Listen, <laughs> come on now, this tank is hot. Vote Team Dean, look at this thing. I got an alien spaceship hovering above this tank. <laughs> it, it looks like that dude's gonna abduct your fish. Yeah, he might, be careful. Just He's... like he did you in 1983. <laughs> Specifically, <laughs> 1983. Listen, so it's my, back for you. So my theme here, I'm going to do all. Uh, is, is this more of like a, my out of space, you know, kind of meteorite kind of theme going? All my corals are going to be a themed as it well. It makes a lot more sense now. Yeah, it's starting to come like together. the rock and the mm -hmm. sand and everything. And mm -hmm. you can see the little lionfish moving around. There's a little lionfish. He's in there. Angler. He's in there somewhere. But that's all right. We'll hit him up later. We'll do some, try and get some good shots of them in the tank. Yes. That's why we did the pictures yesterday because we knew first day in, they're going to yeah. hide. Yeah, It'll be hard real. to capture. Look at him, he's swimming Oh, there he goes in the back corner. You see him? Yeah, man. That's Is that the frog? Or the no, lion? that's a lion. Lionfish, lion. yeah. All right, so now it's time for Team Jess. What? what? Mm. All right, my tank. Mm. So I have a lemon peel angel. It's a dwarf angel. Did two electric flame scallops, mm. a regular flame scallop, and a cleaner shrimp. Hmm. Love it. That's definitely okay. different. So I want, um, my theme is going to be pretty much all non-photosynthetic coral or mm. inverts. So um, the flame scallops are filter feeders. Hmm. But show the, got the pictures of them. So that's the lemon okay. peel. Wow. Um, if we can get him to come out, I'll try and do that. But like he's got bright blue on his eyes and gills mm -hmm. and super bright yellow. Figure against the black sand, black rock. Okay. It's going to stand okay. out really nicely because it's going to be a generally dark tank and uh, flame scallop. So I got two of these guys. These ones actually mm. have like the electric current I that goes that. through. I love um, that. There, and you actually see it in the tank as they're pulsing. Regular flame scallop. Yeah, so we got the next one, the regular flame. Yep, beautiful. They move around. They do. Very uh, cool though. They have tucked themselves under a rock at the moment, okay. so you know, we may not see <laughs> them. That's all right. And, uh, and then we also have the cleaner shrimp, mm. just for some movement and stuff like that. So. My whole theme is going to be um, corals and stuff is just going to be carnations and sun corals and mm -hmm. things that don't require mm -hmm. light. A lot harder to keep, but right. Uh, so you got the whole black on black. Black on black, black, and then the corals are going to be pink and yellow and all that great yeah. colors. So they'll pop really nice pop. off that yeah. rock. That'll be cool. I'm going for a challenge to myself here. Yeah. So. Very 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 cool. Oh, oh, there's a little yellow guy on the bottom. He's hiding, but he might come out. My. Wow. So somebody has already commented on the stream here that says. How do I get one of Jess's shirts? Oh, yeah. That's a fantastic mm. great question. question. Great question. It is a great shirt. Look. Now, look at this. This is the new design that has been inspired that Jess, this is based on her tank, right? So it's very colorful, a lot of filter mm -hmm. features. Carnation corals, carnation, sun kind of corals. Of the corals you'll ultimately see in your tank, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So part of this competition, we each designed our own t-shirt and we will be offering them for sale at cost, you know, yep. on our site. And if you buy one of those shirts, you get Woo! 10 points towards... Yeah, so one shirt purchase equals per 10 votes yes. towards the person that you'd like to see win this competition. Yes, yeah, so you buy awesome. a Team Rich or a Team Dean or Team Jess shirt. Now we should show 10 ours. Votes that are going. Now hold on, let's go back to oh, here yeah. real quick. Show yours, Dean. Come on I'll, now, look I'll at this. Oh, so he's got the corals, the alien invasion. Dude, alien, alien invasion. invasion. Right. That's hot, dude. Get right. you a t-shirt. Come oh, on. God. Alien and shirt. just to kind of follow along, oh. I, have the, I have what we're calling the aggressive crab. Oh, okay, so snap. You can see the water box oh, logo snap. is up in the, uh, in knife, the knife here. In the knife. So crab really cool. with a knife. Aggressive crab. Oh, my God. Yeah, because we got our shirt. My persona <laughs> for this... Team. This competition is a little aggressive. A little aggressive. <laughs> so okay. we've got three different designs. So if you like one of those, you can easily get one. Show your support for Waterbox um, as we continue this battle. Mm -hmm. So my wife says, if I lose, my son Evan's going to cry. So just consider that. Oh, my oh, God. God. Do not. You cannot <laughs> bring Listen. children into this. Come on, Angie. That is rude. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Oh so my God. vote aggressive crab. Um, <laughs> right. The um, the shirts also whenever they purchase one does mm -hmm. get them entry for the cube that we're giving away as well. Right. right, right. So the getting a shirt it's going to give you votes towards the person's shirt that you purchased, but also um, get you entries into the twenty cube that we're going to give away at the yep. end of the battle. Um, and then you also get a really awesome shirt to wear around. Yep. So hey, yep. it's a win. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So dude, we got a lot of people in here, man. Shelly says, wow. Um, Team, all of you for now. Uh, Jay no. Lee says, I'm digging the blackscape and the li livestock choice is going to pop. 
Yeah. Peter says Jess. Dean better call Mulder and Scully. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes. Yes. Yes, you should. Come on now. Listen, man. I don't know. So you got Alien and Habitat right there. That's what I'm going to call it. Alien and Habitat. Then we got Rich over there on the left. He's Team Red. I'm Team Green. Jess is Team I might have to purple. consider getting some purple sort of crabs in there to go mm. with my t-shirt. Yeah, uh, I think you're probably emerald crabs. Some emerald yeah. crabs. Some big emerald crabs. Yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. I can get some miniature knives that they can carry around. Mm. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. That'd be yeah. Cool. So definitely. Uh, oh man, Matt says rich with a low blow, man. Oh, <laughs> come on, That's man. Rude. Trying to get the family involved. I need to put my sunglasses <laughs> on. <laughs> come on, man. So uh, no, I think it's, I think I think we're good, man. So definitely comment who you think. Whose team do you think you're, you're on? I mean, yeah. if you're Team Jess or Dean or Rich. We'll have a poll that goes up mm -hmm. later, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll put up a poll yeah. later. And visit www.waterboxaquariums.com slash battle. That's where you can find the t-shirt designs. Mm -hmm. You can re-watch the episodes. Okay. Uh, and you can visit our sponsor. Also, our sponsor, well. UniqueCorals.com. So that's oh, yeah. segue right into next week. So, oh, I can't wait. Uh, Unique Corals has been hand-selecting some different stuff that, we, according mm -hmm. to what we're looking for. Yep. They've been holding it for us. Um, and we are now, they're going to be sending us the coral shipment. So next week is our first edition of corals. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to be for next week. And that we should be doing, I think, a live unboxing yeah. with those. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really exciting because they've been, uh, they know what our theme is, they know what we're looking for, and they've yep. been kind of hand picking and mm -hmm. selecting some stuff for us for this. So. Uh, you'll get to see the tanks come a little bit more to life next Listen, week. Listen, the battle continues, everybody. And of round course, probably some three. more confessionals coming. I'm sure there'll probably be some more Yeah, it's, there's definitely going to be some more <laughs> interesting things for you guys oh to watch. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I can guarantee that. <laughs> I can guarantee. Dude, love it, guys. Get pumped up. Come on, man. The battle continues. Stay tuned with us. We will see you next week. See you next week.